guys. So I have four books um, up for sale on the Etsy store and I'm just gonna show you them right now. So this is the one baby book that I have and I've actually, they're hand bound. So that's what the front looks like, the spine and then the back. Um, so let's, there are over, I think, 150 pages in this one. And I have some, um, some raised paper and there's a lot of, there's a kind of Winnie the Pooh thing going on. So I have a little special area. So you guys, what you could do is you can write on this. Um, you can put, uh, stick pictures, stick, um, I don't know, a little, this is a little tough spot. You can stick maybe like a hospital band or something in there. Um, so, but it's full of like a little, you can stick a picture in here. It's, it's full of pockets and I'm going kind of fast though. And so I think this is more of a unisex type baby book. I'm not really one to pick a blue or a pink for a particular gender. Um, but yeah, there's blues and pinks and greens and yellows um, throughout the book. So that's that one. So then I also have uh, this purple one. There's a key here. Um, I embossed them with this kind of pattern. It's raised and then I painted over it. And again, it's hand bound as well. And that's what the back looks like. So inside, what I actually did is I tea dyed some paper. So it's all kind of old looking, you know. I think this kind of paper is kind of cool. And I made some, created some envelopes throughout as well. So this is more of a writing. And you can stick stuff, like I said, in the envelopes. Um, but there's tons and tons of space to write. And I believe there are about 80 pages in this one. I mean, give or take. But yeah, the pages are all different. I think it's kind of cool. So, and then I do have a couple of like uh, pattern paper. So that's that. So let's see. So now this one, I love this one. I almost wanted to keep it. So it's kind of like a periwinkle sock, and then I I seal all of the all of the uh, books with with a Mod Podge, um, the satin Mod Podge. So here's the spine, some purple cord, and that's the back. So little tuck spots. Again, this is for journaling, for putting little punches, for um, you know, sticking little little things in here. You can stick a picture in here, you can write on this and stick it back in here. You can write on the paper and plus stick something in there. There's little pockets. Um, and then, basically, it, it's pretty blue, blue, purple, greenish themed, and then some gold. Yeah, and then we have some like fold out papers that I put in there as well. You can use it as a travel journal, everyday journal, and then I like just paper clip some little note cards and things and there's an envelope in there. So yeah, I apologize if I'm going a bit fast. And then a little tuck spot, hello beautiful. And then I kind of just left this without a tuck spot, just because I thought this was really pretty. I don't know if you can see it with the, the gradient here. I thought it was really nice. So that's that one. And the last one that I have is actually a mermaid themed book. So there's this one, I put some like, I don't know, I thought this was like mermaid. It's gold and then um, this is like a little mermaid chipboard and then some seaweed that I colored green and then this or the spine and then that's the back so take a look inside I have the little tuck spots and then this is an area where you can write something in and again there's just 
more tuck spots, more places you can put more stuff for traveling, or just everyday journaling. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoy this book. I think it's really, sort of whimsical and really cool. I love I, I shell the ocean. <laughs> um, so there's a bunch of shiny papers in here as well. Um, and then also some cutouts. And then I have this. Treasures of the Sea. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I love this one, it's really nice. And some mermaids. <laughs> so yeah, and then there's a little tuck spot at the end here as well. Alright, so give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you see, what you saw. Um, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys would like to purchase any of these books, um, they are available on my Etsy store and I'll leave the link down below. Okay? Bye!